Hey guys, Vladimir here with Desktop Makes. For this week's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to export multiple bodies as a single STL file in Fusion 360. Now, this may sound like it should be pretty intuitive, right? If you can export one body, you should be able to just go ahead and export multiple bodies, but it's not. <laughs> Let me show you exactly what I mean. Let's open up last week's model, which is the most adorable ghost you've ever seen. So if you haven't checked out that video, it's a great introduction to the sculpting environment, so make sure you check it out. Okay, so one thing I really loved about Fusion 360 when I first started using it was the ease of going from model to 3D printing. So let me just first do a quick recap on exporting one model, and then I'll jump into exporting multiple models. The way we do that, right, is we go to Make 3D Print, we select our model, and if we have this little checkbox here, check the Send to 3D Print Utility, we can just click OK, and Fusion will automatically open up our slicer and throw our model right in there so that we are good to go to configure this for 3D printing. I love this feature here and I use it all the time. You even have the ability to choose your own slicer of choice. So let me bring up that menu again by going to Make 3D Print. And if you have a different slicer you want to choose, you can ch either choose one from the drop down list here or go to Custom and then click on this little folder here and you just navigate to where you have your application installed and click on it and then Fusion will have that come up every time you choose custom. If you didn't want to send this directly to a slicer, you simply bring up that menu and uncheck Send to 3D Print Utility and select your model, click OK, and then Fusion will allow you to save it as an STL file. Okay, now let's talk about exporting multiple models. So I'm going to go to this tab here where I sort of inadvertently drew the target logo, but let's say we wanted to 3D print this whole thing here. So it's three separate bodies, so you can see here, and they're not connected in any way to one another. So I can try the same approach. The intuitive thing to do would be to go to make 3D print and try to draw a box around everything. And I think this is what, well, this is what I did or I tried to do and what I've seen other people try to do because um, it's intuitive, right? You either you, know, you select everything or then you try to hold control and select multiple items. You see that it's not letting you. I can try to hold shift. Um, that doesn't work. So let's see what happened. If I select draw a box around everything, it's only showing me and it's kind of random. It'll pick like one that it'll highlight. Uh, let's just click OK and see what happens. So Fusion will open up my slicer and yeah, it just brings in that one thing that it happened to highlight. So I struggled with this for a while and really tried to figure out ways to go around this. I came up with some like crazy ways of actually attaching everything together and making it one body, but making the layer so thin that it wouldn't print, but Fusion would think it, you know, it would treat it as one body which was just kind of a hack a way of getting around it until I finally played with it enough and actually found the solution. So that's what I'm going to share with you now. What you do is you go up to your browser here. So right now it says unsaved because I haven't saved it. So this would be the name of your design. Um, you click on that name and then you just go to save as STL file and it's going to save whatever body you have toggled on here. So right now I have all three on and I'm going to send it to my 3D print utility. Click OK. And there it is. All three models were brought in, or all three bodies. OK, now let's try that again, but let's remove the middle circle here. So I'm going to right click where it says unsaved, uh, save as STL, and just click OK. And you can see just the bodies that I had selected came through. Okay, so that's the tip for today. I wanted to share that with you and I figured, you know, it's going to be valuable to some of you who may still be trying to figure out a way around this. Uh, all right, guys, let me know what you think. Was this helpful? Did you already know about it or was I just late to the game? Uh, let me know in the comments below. And if you have any questions, make sure to leave that below as well. All right, I'll see you next week with another tip.